Hello, Michael Augustine here. Uh, sorry, I have to talk a little lower than usual because I'm outside and neighbors are very close by. But the first one is how can you tell when someone is listening to you? And uh, it's a very interesting uh, chapter again, chapter eight, but I would say that um, if someone's making eye contact and not just that, because sometimes you can tell if someone is really listening, even if they're pretending to kind of listen, but they don't really care. But if they really care, that you can tell that they're engaged, they're, they're listen, looking at your eye and maybe asking uh, questions uh, about what you're talking about. And then how does it make you feel when someone is not listening to you? Um, it makes me feel badly. Yeah, it's, uh, it's frustrating. Yeah. It, in a friendship or in a relationship or uh, in family, especially if uh, if you don't feel listened to, it can really uh, be hurtful. And I would say Liz is having details I may press. Yeah, who's the interaction you with? Um, so I had an interaction with uh, another teacher at a school before, and I could tell they weren't listening to me because they they. Uh, they were kind of frustrated that I had gotten a job, I think, or, or something. And so I could tell they, they weren't listening to me at the time as I was just kind of giving an assignment, which was to kind of have a group uh, kind of meeting with uh, both classes. And they didn't really like to being told what to do, even though it was just kind of my job and I, I was doing it in as nice, respectful way as I could. But uh, they were not listening because they're kind of even their eyes kind of like glazed over. And I found out later, you know, through talking with them more and more that they were someone who kind of really just enjoyed talking about themselves. And I noticed that kind of glazed over look uh, when anyone started talking and, and this person wasn't the, the center of attention. So I'm not sure what that is exactly, but, uh, but that was one example of when I didn't feel listened to and it was uh, frustrating because it was uh, we needed to kind of be on the same page and since she didn't really listen to what I was saying um, it just caused more problems later and I kind of had to repeat myself and it was a little confusing could have been avoided with uh, some better listening skills so it affect your motivation to tell them important things in the future yes it did I did not uh, feel like I was being listened to when I, I talked with that person, so I, I kind of stopped relaying information and we didn't have much communication after that. I was friendly and cordial, but, but I didn't uh, attempt to communicate important information in the way that I did that day. So uh, it affected my relationship with them, yes. and. Uh, I kind of changed the way I communicate with them after that. But very important chapter, listening is, is very important, as you say, even more so maybe than uh, pronouncing our words correctly. So it's a skill that's uh, very, very underrated. So thanks for the, for the video and the instructions and see you next time.